do not look upon these agreements as agreements which carry economic implications only. They are very important agreements in the economic field, but they have much greater significance. They are a natural follow-on to the summit meeting, and uh, I believe will improve the climate greatly, which will permit improved relations between our two countries in the political field. And I know that although we are very happy that uh, uh, these agreements augur well for uh, greater trade between our two countries and the elimination of some of the uh, difficulties we've had, the fact is that they are very uh, significant steps in the direction of better political relations between the Soviet Union and the United States. And of course, what that means in terms of uh, the American people is that it uh, provides a much better opportunity for peace in the world. In the final analysis, what the president is working for, the reason he took the trip to Moscow and Peking, the reason that we have worked so long and diligently to, to complete these agreements is because he's anxious to create a climate for peace. And I think the agreements that we've signed today do exactly that. And I hope that they will contribute, as the president hopes they will, to the possibility of a generation of peace.